Lesson 7, Plant Growth and Hormones. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain that plant hormones affect their growth and discuss how artificial hormones can be used for fruit initiation. Just as humans need hormones for growth, plants have hormones too. Plant hormones control things like flowering, fruit ripening and the growth of roots, shoots, leaves and stems. There are five types of hormone produced by plants. Gibberellin, cytokinin, auxin, ethylene and abscisic acid. Each of these has a particular job to do. Gibberellin promotes cell division and elongation. It also helps seeds to sprout. Cytokinin also promotes cell division. Higher levels of this hormone are found in areas that need the most growth, such as roots, young leaves and developing fruits and seeds. Plant stems always grow towards the light. This growth is controlled by auxin. If plants receive light from one side, they will grow towards it. The auxin is produced at the tip of a new shoot. It makes the cell elongate more on the shaded area of the root, so it bends towards the light. Auxin also makes the plant roots grow down into the soil. Gravity is an important part of this process. Auxin builds up on the lower side of the root and slows down growth on this side. This allows the upper side to grow much quicker. The force of gravity helps the root to bend downwards and grow deeper into the soil. Sometimes plants also need to slow down their growth. This is the job of the hormone abscisic acid. This hormone slows down the plant's metabolism so that it doesn't grow during winter. If conditions become stressful, slowing down or stopping growth can help the plant to survive. Hormones are produced by the developing embryo inside the seed. They stimulate seed growth and cause the ovary to develop into a fruit. Fruit growers sometimes spray artificial auxin onto the unpollinated flowers of fruit trees or tomato plants. This results in fruit with no pips. Seedless pears, grapes and satsumas are grown in this way.